Hi everyone, and welcome all of you to the Monty Cable Show. Hey, I'd like to wish y'all a very nice morning and a very happy uh, Thanksgiving holiday season. And I just want to make this little shout out to you. I wish you all a very, very, very happy Thanksgiving and a holiday season. I just wanted to say this morning, I, I, I hope you like that little song here in Shangri-La. Because if you live in the love and the knowledge of Jesus Christ, you live in Shangri-La, literally in your heart. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've been watching the news lately, and I like to listen to all sorts of news. I like to listen to alternative media, and I like to listen to the regular news, um, CNN, NBC, NBC. And I like alternative media because I get a general view of both sides of the coin. You know, I get a more, you know, broader view of the whole thing, you know, because if you just listen to one side, you just get a one-sided view of the issues at, at hand. And one of the things that really touched me this month and over the last few weeks is the situation that happened in Vegas, Las Vegas, with the shooting of those uh, at the concert that they had in and it was really tragic and I really my heart goes out to all those who lost loved ones in that tragedy and also uh, I think a couple of weeks ago now that shooting in that church and I'm sure all of you must have heard that by now and it was just really like heart-wrenching and I'm sure that everyone from both events were who had loved ones who perished in that were just heartbroken. It broke my heart. It really did. They're just Christians. They love God. A lot of these people. I don't. I you know a lot of say people say oh it's just the conservative white people or black people or whatever. But I I am touched by each one of the ones who are hurt or killed in these things, and it's it's heart wrenching. But in listening to the media and alternative media there's something that's struck me the other day that I want to share with you it seems that a lot of people are forgetting the Bible are forgetting to read the Bible because they're shocked and surprised by all these events they are shocking and very surprising but you know uh, there's a verse that popped in my mind the other day and I wanted to share this verse with you just in case you don't know it or might not see that these things have to happen but there's a verse in the Bible in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12 it says yea and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution shall suffer persecution and the following verse is really amazing because it's what's happening it also says but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has not and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Like, it has to happen. These tragedies have to happen. Even though it's sad, it's tough, and it hurts when someone, your loved one dies, or a relative, or a friend. I've gone through that many, many times and seen death quite often in our family and around the world in my travels. But I hope you will be encouraged that even in all this tragedy, God has a wonderful, wonderful victory out of all of it. He's going to, something good is going to come out of all of this. And one of the most outstanding things as we approach the end, it really is the end, folks. What can you say? That Jesus Christ is about to return on the earth. Even though there will be a lot of deception, a lot of lies, and a lot of things that are going to happen, know that a wonderful, bright, new day is about to come on the earth. Okay, there's a lot of other things I cover in a lot of my pod videos and uh, casts about the end time. And it's a lot more specific, but I just want to encourage you all to keep looking up <laughs> because our redemption 
draweth nigh, Jesus Christ is coming soon. And if you don't know him, I'd like to encourage you all to, to ask Jesus into your heart. And not some religion or traditions or following some tradition, but actually receiving and knowing him personally by saying a prayer of faith. Simple as Jesus, I don't understand everything about you or, or why everything the way it is. It is the way it is, but I'd like to receive you into my life, into my heart, and I ask you to forgive me for all my sins and give me your gift of eternal life. It's as simple as that. And there's a lot of different issues on that, but go to my website, montycagle.com, and read on those issues. And one little thought, my heart goes out to all these people. I don't care about they're white or black because they're Christians. They're our brothers and fellow disciples of Jesus Christ and his family. So it doesn't matter if this race thing that's going on. There's a little more I talk about it a lot in my uh, videos and I wrote, I wrote a book not too long ago and it's called uh, Racism and the Cure. There is a cure and it's reachable, it's doable. It's something that can bring you peace in your heart, if not, not the whole world, but you can have peace in your own heart. That I do love these people. I don't care about white or black thing. They're our brethren and they're, our, they're God's children. And it's terrible what happened to them. But know that a bright and new future is coming soon. But remember, we are going to be persecuted and it's going to escalate and it's going to get worse and worse. But a bright and better day will come under the rule and reign of God himself, under Jesus Christ on the earth. Know that and be encouraged to know that and look forward to it. Hey, I'd like to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving holiday season with your family and your loved ones. Love them because you don't know what can happen. And have a nice one. Lots of love from me to all of you. And remember, keep looking up and not down.